Today we're going to show you the easy way to start a steel chainsaw in the cold. This is a steel MS211. Um, you can see we got snow on the ground here. And uh, a lot of people start these up and they're really cranking on them. They don't take that much if you've been taking care of your saw. And by taking care of your saw, all you really need to do is make sure that you use ethanol free fuel and uh, change the air filter once in a while. And so in order to get this started, uh, the easy way, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take, uh, you've got a couple different positions right here on the back. You've got uh, off, this is normal run, this is half choke, this is full choke. We're gonna go all the way down to full choke. In order to do that, you need to grab on to the handle here, press down this lever on top and pull the trigger at the same time. And that enables you to go to full choke. We're all the way down there at the bottom and uh, now that is locked in place. So what I'm gonna do, if I'm gonna start this up in the cold or when the chainsaw itself is cold, I'm just going to, uh, while it's in full choke, I'm gonna pull the handle like three times. Uh, so we're gonna go one, two, three. And uh, what that does is primes it uh, with the choke and uh, gets everything ready in there and kind of lubricates the cylinders uh, with the 50 to one gas. Now that I've pulled it three times, I'm just gonna put it to half choke, which is right there, okay? I flipped it up from full choke to half choke. That's that half choke position right there. Now this thing is ready to start up. Make sure you have your chain brake on or that saw is gonna start spinning. That uh, saw blade right there is gonna start spinning or the saw chain. Now this thing's ready to start. You do not need to hold the handle. That's a mistake that a lot of people make. They pull down the trigger and the handle, do not do that. If you wanna start this up the easy way in the cold, you're just going to pull this handle right here. So make sure that you've got it uh, held down some way and now we're gonna pull, okay? One. lever and that's going to put it into the run position and take it out of choke position so that this will then go into idle mode okay then we're going to flick it to off so you saw i did that in like two or three pulls i see people pulling on their chainsaw like 50 pulls it shouldn't be that hard to start a chainsaw even in the cold the temperature right now is uh 20 degrees or so and that thing started right up uh, from being completely cold no issues so the key is follow these steps that's the easy way to start up your still chainsaw that should work with most chainsaws uh, from still now this is the ms211 uh, love this little saw a lot of people are always like oh get the biggest bar length the most horsepower uh, saw that you can use well i'm going to tell you that if you're using a saw all day you actually want one of the lightest saws that you can get. Now this video isn't for people who are professional foresters and all that, good for you. You know way more than me about any of this stuff, you use it every day. But if you're the average person cutting up trees, uh, maybe doing some land management, uh, you've got a farm or something, I highly recommend they actually get a lighter saw rather than a heavier saw because um, what that's going to do is just gonna make it easier for you to cut all day. If you're cutting a lot of trees, doing a lot of firewood, you're gonna notice these things get really heavy. Um, and while it's great to have a you know, 30 inch bar on there, the odds are that you're not cutting 30 inch trees all day. This I think has an 18 or 20 inch bar on it, which is just about perfect for 90% of stuff. And then you can get out a bigger saw when you need it and uh, not wear yourself out all day. So love this little uh, still MS211. I like it more as time goes on because of how lightweight and compact it is. And I find that I can get most stuff done with this. And I've cut bigger trees with it or down logs with it, uh, bigger than the bar. You just have to make multiple passes. But uh, I find that because it is so compact and lightweight that I end up leaning towards grabbing this over a bigger saw because of how much more comfortable it is. Um, so thanks for watching how to start up your still chainsaw the easy way. Uh, when it's cold. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.